Hey, what's going on, people? So, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I actually really enjoyed this film. I personally enjoyed it more than No Way Home in terms of how they dealt with and handled the multiverse. So I'm going to give a general overview of this film, as well as talk about some of the occult and esoteric symbolism contained within it. Things you won't hear anywhere else, I guarantee it. And to give you some context for what I mean by this, let's look at Jack Parsons, American rocket engineer, chemist, and thelemite occultist. He was born October 2nd, 1914. The name Marvel Parsons. Yes, Marvel. Jack Parsons looks like a combination of Tony Stark and Howard Stark physically, if you ask me. The birth name Marvel I do think may be synchronistic because Iron Man's first appearance was in 1963 and Marvel itself began in 1939 and Parsons passed away in 1952. But I do think the characters of Tony and Howard Stark was fully influenced by Jack Parsons, a rocket scientist, but also an occultist. Let's examine some of the symbolism contained within Parsons' branch of occultism, Crowley's Thelema. Babylon, a.k.a. the Scarlet Woman, a.k.a. the Great Mother, or the Mother of Abominations. Now, who does this sound like? The Scarlet Witch, perhaps? Especially in this film, Wanda declares she is not a monster, but a mother. Also note that this film came out Mother's Day weekend. So the film itself overall I thought was very well done. The pacing and story felt cohesive. It connected well with WandaVision. I actually think Doctor Strange works much better with a Sam Raimi type of reality. The issue I had with No Way Home is Doctor Strange was essentially powerless to Spider-Man and all they really did with him is use the mirror dimension or geometry and the same gimmick of kicking Spider-Man's astral body out of his body. The Multiverse of Madness they utilized the potential of Strange much more effectively. It felt fresh and new rather than a repeat of the first Strange film. America Chavez clearly can act as a symbol for America itself, make of that what you will, but even just in a linguistic sense for how her name is used in the film at certain times. And oddly, her two mothers in the film again further pulls in the mother archetype, which this film revolves around via the Scarlet Witch. America Chavez believes she was raised by her mothers in the utopian parallel, a reality that is out of time in the presence of a being known as the Demiurge, whose presence she credited with imbuing her with superpowers. Demiurge, in Gnosticism and other theological systems, a heavenly being, subordinate to the supreme being, that is considered to be the controller of the material world and antagonistic to all that is purely spiritual. Gnosticism, in many ways, is intertwined with occult and esoteric types of thought. The word or idea esoteric itself comes from the concept of gnosis. When Strange meets Wanda for the first time in this film, he mentions apple trees, signaling the fruit of knowledge, and then he learns the truth about Wanda, that she is the one hunting America. The gnosis of the forbidden fruit, if you will. And now that I think about it, Doctor Strange himself, with his goatee, looks a lot like Jack Parsons as well. Tony Stark is his rocket scientist side, and perhaps Strange is his occultic side. There is a show about Parsons called Strange Angel. Or maybe I'm just making false connections and imagining things. America Chavez is being chased by an interdimensional demon thing that symbolically is like a combination of a Hydra octopus and an all-seeing singular eye. Fitting symbolism, Hydra throughout Marvel has always been connected to the occult, like the left arm of the Winter Soldier and all the mind control that goes on in that film. It's also interesting that Spectre uses the octopus or Hydra symbolism in their films as well. America said she has been to 72 different parallel realities, 72 a significant number in many theologies, but in this case what comes to mind is the number of demons sealed away by King Solomon with the lesser key of Solomon, given that she is being chased by a demon. All the different parallel realities that they fly through really took it to the next level. The cartoon dimension and breaking the fourth wall with them perceiving the audience for a split second, way beyond No Way Home in my opinion. When America and Strange are exploring the new universe that they land in, it's go on red and stop on green. I saw this as a way of sort of displaying a dual upside down world, 
as well as tying in the Scarlet Woman symbolism, Scarlet or Red. I got a kind of Back to the Future 2 vibe in a way from this new universe with how they're walking around and everything's different. Christine Palmer in this new universe is also rocking a Scarlet or Red hairdo. Christine Palmer connected with Strange through the multiverses. Doctor Strange loses his hands, or palms you could say, right? Goes near death and pulls himself back from death and resurrects himself in a way. Christine Palmer? Perhaps a wordplay on the palms of Christ. Or maybe I'm reading too far into things. Relating to death and resurrection, perhaps? Doctor Strange is literally dead in this film at times, right? Gnosticism, a prominent heretical movement of the second century Christian church, partly of pre-Christian origin. Gnostic doctrine taught that the world was created and ruled by a lesser divinity, the Demiurge, and that Christ was an emissary of the remote supreme divine being, esoteric knowledge or gnosis, of whom enabled the redemption of the human spirit. Sam Raimi should be the only person to direct Doctor Strange films from now on. The horror element with the evil dead camera angles and aesthetics I thought worked very well with Strange. The Bruce Campbell evil dead hand possession easter egg I thought was a nice and interesting touch. So yeah, the Illuminati is in this film. Not much to really say about that besides for what I am already saying. Professor X is looking really old, but I did appreciate the throwback to the X-Men cartoon soundtrack from the 90s. Jim from The Office is apparently Mr. Fantastic in this reality. It's crazy. I hope they cast Dwight Schrute as Doctor Doom. Black Bolt's death reminded me of Neo from The Matrix, and I was genuinely shocked by some of the special effects in this film. Raimi really did give a fresh take on the CGI Marvel action that can get very repetitive and stale. I thought this film kept the action new and totally unpredictable. Nicely done. The musical fight between the OG Doctor Strange and the Gnosis-activated pineal gland open Doctor Strange was next level, almost on like a Disney's Fantasia type of vibes or something. I thought that was pretty cool. Zombie Doctor Strange was so ridiculous, but it worked because it literally felt like a scene from a modern Evil Dead film or something. Can only imagine if someone went and saw this film on psychedelics. That would probably end up very bad. Alright, so check this out. Babylon's, aka the Scarlet Woman's consort, is Chaos, called the Father of Life in Gnostic Mass, being the male form of the creative principle. Chaos appears in the vision and the voice. Maybe this is synchronistic, but Wanda or Scarlet Witch's husband is the vision. The Scarlet Woman has her origins in the Book of Revelation. She is archetypically associated with the Apocalypse, aka the destruction of reality, which is exactly what the Scarlet Witch is doing in this film and throughout WandaVision. Vision, which started out as the AI child of Tony Stark, is the husband or counterpart to the Scarlet Witch. Wanda and her connection with the progression of American television I find to be interesting. Television and the progression of technology, the screens and the visions we watch. From smartphones to advanced AI. Vision. Tony Stark's globally minded AI plus the Mind Stone. In a way, Vision is like Iron Man 2.0. Or even Iron Man plus Doctor Strange in a way. Technology plus the magical principles of the Mind Stone. The Scarlet Woman of the Apocalypse. Husband is Vision. The ultimate form of transhumanism. Symbolic, eh? Anyways, I think I'll stop there. So hopefully to my OG subscribers wanting content that was more like my old stuff, hopefully that was to your liking. I really didn't know if I had it in me anymore, but I guess I do. Not sure where it comes from, but I can't help it. And if you like this sort of universe-breaking type of strange analysis and you're new, I got other content you can peep. So please like, share, subscribe, comment your visions below, and... Bye.